Ho, 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 and welcome to um, the North Pole um, in this very cold place uh, for the uh, mid-season review and obviously the review of Austria. Um, so, as per usual, we have Ben and Rob. And we have got one of our new sign-ups for this year. Um, he's had a big impact in more ways than one, you could say. <laughs> uh, it is Carl. Hello, hello. Uh, first, first things first, Carl. What actually is your surname? My surname. Yeah, your your family name. Yeah, it, it's 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 how I am called. Yes, and the simple. Ah, okay. Yeah, just, just thought I'd ask. <laughs> <laughs> That's explained. Uh, yeah. So, uh, how how are you enjoying the league, Carl? Oh, I'm enjoying it uh, a lot. I mean, uh, I drive in uh, different leagues, but uh, this is uh, actually the best one out of out there. So oh, what a I'm nice enjoying guy. it uh, the most in here. We're blushing. We're blushing. Yeah. No, it, it's true. It's true. Uh, I don't know anywhere else a field like this that's this competitive and still fair and nice uh, driving. So. Right. Thank you for your compliments. I I take all of the compliments for myself. Jonathan, are we sending the money to him or to the team? <laughs> for saying that. What? what? <laughs> you pay him to say that? Oh no, no. <laughs> he he's paying me to uh, put him on it. Isn't that right, Carl? Yeah. What? <laughs> I know nothing. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> like I paid him to say that. Um, right. So <laughs> uh, let's. Start with qualifying. Guess what, everyone? What? It was an interesting qualifying session. Swap. We gotta get someone else. <laughs> no, it wasn't actually. It was pretty. It was apart right, from so. apart from Ian Drake, probably everyone was where they probably normally are. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, pretty much. I, apart from Dean, Dean's obviously higher up as well. John, you used to saying that you're always in a little place. Oh, I haven't been in the top ten in qualifying yet this season. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> My goal was just to be ahead of Rob Seek since he's also a bad one. And, uh, I trained uh, a little race before the race and uh, that's what I thought I should be. Hmm. But I'm happy with the result. <laughs> Carl, have you heard about the Battle of the Pad? No. Oh, Jonathan's out for you. It's the battle of the pad that we're going to have every week. Yeah. I can't wait for the race review. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, who who would like to uh, talk over the, some music that's pretty fancy? Carl. Carl. Do I have to do qualifying results? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Go, Carl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Well, uh, we have uh, Garrett Williams in first at a 7.2. We have um, Garrett Mesham uh, with a 7.2 as well, only two hundreds behind uh, Williams. Then we have Amari, uh, another two hundreds behind Mesham. Uh, we have Ben and Ford with the Red Bull in the home race um, with a 7.4. Then we have Andy, uh, no, uh, Steve, I mean, sorry, uh, <laughs> fail <laughs> with a 7.6. Uh, we have uh, Dean in 6th, uh, 8.0, and Rob in 7th, and the other Red Bull 8.3. Then uh, we have myself in 8th, uh, with an 8.4, and Neil in 9th, with an 8.9, and uh, Indrek in 10th, my teammate with a 9.5, I expected him higher to be honest, uh, and Jonathan in. 11, Ferrari with a 9.6. Well done, Carl. Top notch. Top notch. That's how you're supposed to go. <laughs> well, other than messing up Steve and Andy. No. Which is just a, a little lapse of my brain. <laughs> it's the same team. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, it's fair enough. That makes it alright, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, my reason, my excuse again this week is um, my fastest lap was an own. Uh, own nine zero, but I cut a corner. So yeah, that was my excuse. Rubbish excuse. Yeah. 
So the battle of the pads, you were one point two slower than Carl. Just saying. Well, <laughs> uh, I only point. I'm going to say point six, six because um, if my lap counted. <laughs> battle of the pad, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well. <laughs> Carl, Carl there, had more sure practice. Involved. We're going to analyse this every week. So you Carl had more practice than me. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we should move on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to race highlights. Oh yeah, press the button, press the button. <sighs> so, the start. And we are on board with Gareth, I think. Yeah, Gareth. Um... Carl, go. Yeah, well, he has a run on to Williams in the first corner, but he goes behind it up uh, to the second corner. He tries to stay with him, and you will see later on that he will even try to go alongside on the next straight. He breaks a little bit later, comes out better, puts it in third, tries to have her go at him, but he can't uh, quite keep up with him, and then we go on to Ben. Yeah, got a fairly good launch. Um, I just saw these top three up there very close together, so I braked a little bit early, turned in tight to give Amari room on the outside. Managed to leap from Kim, and I was thinking, right, ideal, let's see what we can do at the front two. But what I what I did down here was look at the mirror, see, saw Amari was close, defended far too much to the inside, and he went wide on the outside. And I gave him too much room as well, I should have pushed him off really. But yeah, good start from the top four, really. Yeah. Rob, go! Oh, Steve. Yep, Steve gets an OK start, not as good as me. I have to lift off because I'm right behind him. <laughs> uh, he stays wide, lets Dean through, lets Carl through. <laughs> Drives off down the aisle. Oh, look! Ooh, look at that, Carl, that was dodgy running outside me. <laughs> no, but the thing is, Dean braked in the braking zone, he changed his line and I had to avoid contact with him and then I locked up deep. Go off and go! Oh, me. Yeah, so I got a typical pad start and passed Indrek uh, straight away. Although Indrek got a pretty shocking start, really. Uh, and I saw a gap down the inside of Rob and then Dean, uh, Indrek kind of nudged me into Rob a bit, but didn't affect us too much. Uh, and yeah, it indirect dropped back a bit. And on the run into turn two, I thought I could make a move down the inside, and then Rob slowed up a lot, and then everyone lagged about a second further up the track. So it's a bit off putting and a bit disappointing because I thought I was going to make a move. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, the midfield. Pretty good start, really. Well, uh, it was okay. <laughs> No contact. We're oh, well, between everyone, contact. yeah. Um, so, Ben and Carl, you were heavily involved in the midfield. Yeah. Midfield being just off the podium. Yeah, I had um, Dean behind me. He was obviously quicker, because he is just faster anyway. And uh, he's tried a few times at turn two. I managed to I pit a bit earlier than planned to make sure I stayed in front of him. And then came out behind Carl in the second stint. As you'll see here, but obviously I was one of the options. He was a prime, so I desperately had to get past him, and then I made this stupid move and I went way too deep into turn one, and almost hit Carl on the way back. And it gave Dean a run down into turn two again. But this time, obviously, he's carrying a lot more speed. Um, as you'll see, this runs on. I will dive down the inside. I leave him the room that I did on the first few times, but this time somehow we made contact. I was pretty embarrassed instantly, and now I can't reverse because he's there. <laughs> So I have to hit the barrier. I'm wrecking my tyres doing this because it's the wheel spins away as you'll see now, they're all a bit hot. Dean passes me anyway, which I kinda of guessed he had a penalty for that anyway, so <coughs> it was a bit of a bit of a unnecessary incident, but I think it always happens when you're having a big big contest like that. Mm. Carl, how did you find it? Yeah, I, I think it was unnecessary the the contact um uh, I don't I didn't see the Dean's view on it, but uh seems like he's carrying a bit too much speed uh, into the corner and uh, therefore they hit, I think. And yeah, well, if, if uh, Ben is okay with it, that uh, Dean gets his penalty, then uh, it's obviously fine. He, he could have maybe waited on the next straight to let uh, Dean, uh, 
let uh, Ben go first into the next corner, but yeah, that's how they handle it and uh, everything's fine. Yeah. Hello, welcome to the backpack part of the program. Oh, and straight into action here with Steve getting smashed off by Neil. Or just come together in a lag kind of way. Who knows? And an incredible move around the outside by me. That was on pretty rug. good. I was trying to deflect from that by talking about the crash in front. No, 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 no. That, we weren't going to leave that one un unturned. Right, so who's this? What's happening here? Oh, this. Look at this. this one. And I thought, I can't do the cutback because he'll be too wise. He'll slow down right in the right place. Yeah, as I did. And then I got a bit okay. of oversteer on the exit. Yeah, and then I just hammered it down. And it's weird down here because I did the same thing that Ben did, where I think, oh, I'm just going to defend. It'll be easier. Then I lifted you off the throttle. So late around the outside. I lifted off the shake. throttle and braked a bit later. Yeah. Yeah, you can brake later on the outside there. Uh, have a okay. better run. I remember that one, so Mario took me on the first lap. <laughs> so we have it again. Mm, yeah, that was a good move around the outside. Let's leave. That's how we take the week. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then Steve got involved after he caught up again. And Steve making progress back up the field. I was quite pissed off by this one. That's how we did me as well at the end. Classic sector 3 overtake. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, Steve kind of cut me off at the exit and then he kind of lost it all again. Well done, Steve. It, it was a bit like what he did in Bahrain, which was surprising. Yeah, but... yeah should have done. <laughs> Steve. Down that line again, and he yeah. works again. Yeah. The shape of that corner is a lot tighter than. Hmm. Steve was the only one to use a free stop, I think, though. Yeah. I actually thought more people would do it and had my uh, strategy. I think that's probably what everyone Steve. thought. <laughs> this was funniest overtake of the week. It was around the last corner. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. That's gonna leave a mark. Yeah. yeah. I should have stayed on the inside the whole, whole way. It's, it's it's quite dirty on the outside there. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, yeah. it, was, it was quite a fun, well, I say fun. It is frustrating that I was getting overtaken, but it was. Fun straighting. Fun straighting. <laughs> it was fun straighting. A new word. Should I find what was it on the table? <laughs> <laughs> what? You keep talking. Right. Yeah, yeah. So. I don't want to hear that. Fun. It all finished eventually. Yes. And uh, Amari came out on top, further securing his uh, position in the title challenge. Yeah, good win. Good win. And he's he still on track that. to win it at Germany. He did say that, yeah. <laughs> he did tell me something last night that I was supposed to say on the podcast. I completely forgot. This is so. clearly why he doesn't want to come on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I'll think of it. Just make something up. Oh, he said, Dean, you're, you've got AIDS, and uh, <laughs> Gareth's are clearly brothers. Yes, that's what he said. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, so, the results. Yeah, Gareth was eight seconds back by the end. Um, yeah, Paul uh, Gareth Williams... Uh, Made a very strategic call error at the start of the race to put okay. put old tyres on rather than new ones. I didn't even know you could do that. I don't think you could do it. Yeah. yeah it could have been a very different race had he not done that. Yeah. Um, then Carl with a one of the results of the season considering the track and that he's on the pad. Yeah, my best result in terms of performance. In yeah, yeah. good race. MP4. Ben in P5, um, ahead of Dean who dropped back to P6 after the penalty. Uh, Steve just ahead of Rob, who was just ahead of me by five seconds. Um, yeah, uh, Indrek and Neil did not finish or disconnected either. Or. Yeah. Oh yeah! Congratulations to Amari on his first win. Yeah, definitely. Well done, mate. It's been a long time coming, but uh, not really. Actually, it's been a short time coming. Uh, <laughs> it has Gareth's, been expected for a while. Gareth Mesham, is it me? Mesham? 
Misha. Misha. Misha is obviously back on form, so that's good to see. Um, the other Gareth's improving race by race in, in, in the championship fight now without any shadow of a doubt. Carl, like you say, driver of the day, or like I said, from 8th to 4th. Yeah. Um, self 5th, probably could have been 4th, if not for the contact with Dean, but you know, shit happens. Yeah, you were faster, I think. So. Yeah, well, we were on the options, so we were yeah, closing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Dean 6th, that's disappointing for him in the championship. Yeah, he was very quick all week in practice. That's why I was surprised he was that far down. Yeah, I, mean, I thought he was going to get pulled and just disappear. But... Yeah, same. Um, Baldy 7th, um, showing signs of improvement at last. Now he can stay away from his PS4 and has got new keys for his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Robin 8th, I, just, I won't even say nothing, mate. I won't, I won't say nothing. <laughs> Do I say anything? Yeah. Just an off day. Just, just an off day, disappointing, possibly drunk. Night for Jonathan on his comeback. This yeah. is the battle of the pads. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, championships. That has closed it up a lot. Yeah, awesome now. So, it's three points separating the top three. Wow. Um, yeah. Mental. And ten it's points separate in the top four. Yeah. You know, if you think about this time last season when we I mean the whole season we had three winners. <laughs> and now I think we had like six, is it? Four. Yeah. Four, uh no, yeah. Five, six, six, six. Six winners. That's pretty amazing. And I mean three points in the top top three would no one would have predicted that at the start of the season. Yeah. If you look at the top four, all four of them have been on the podium four times. Hmm. You know, the class of the field. Yeah. And you can't predict every time which one will win. I mean, it's not that you can say this one or this one. You know they will be there, but you can't say which one will win. Yeah. No, it's impossible. And they, they are all prone to um, a bad weekend as well. It's not as if they're just like dominating each week. No, oh, indeed, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, so after the top four, we've got a little bit of a gap back to the second, Mid the midfield pack. Which again is very close. Yeah, on well, Nab fifth because of Carl, um, because of Neil's actual bad result. I <laughs> moved Neil from fifth to eighth just because of one bad result. Um, yeah, and then Carl's obviously moved up to sixth with like the two great results in the last two races. Rob's hanging on there in seventh, but it's just like say Neil that, that close there in eighth as well. Yeah, so it's all real close in the midfield. Mm. Boldy in ninth, do you reckon he's going to get back on form? Well, do I don't know, I really don't know. Um, I don't get on enough to um, see him how regularly he's on. If he's on a lot, then he'll do well. I think he could have done really well in Austria. Mm. We, know, we know he's fast, so it's just a case of... It's just whether he gets the time or puts the time in for any specific track. <laughs> Same issue, really, isn't it? Uh, mm, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still trying to work my way back into the midfield. You should pass Chris this week. Yeah, hopefully. Chris, I don't think Chris will be back. We know Andy's obviously not coming back. That's been confirmed. How is it? So we could do a few more drivers, actually. You know? yeah. Please listen to this. <laughs> Sign up, don't be afraid. Yeah, Indrek is still in 13th. Disappointing weekend, but Silverstone generally goes pretty well. Yeah. So, yeah. could climb a few places. I don't know if any of you have seen his video that he's posted this week. Um, it was Silverstone lap. He's doing third, mid 31s at the moment. So, uh, um, is that quick? That's very quick. <laughs> I've not even touched a track yet, so I don't know. No, I haven't either because I won't make it. <laughs> Alright. Um, and then we got Jeremy, who's still reserve. Graham and Peter having their, their own little battle at the bottom. I like watching that battle. It's quite good to see. Yeah. Point all no, they've both been getting points when the, the last few races they've been there. Obviously, neither of them were there at Austria. No. But yeah, they're picking up points. Just not in Austria. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Constructors, don't know if anything's changed. Yes, it yeah. has. Yeah. 
Damn. <laughs> well, this is all over. Is that Mark? Is that Mark? Is that Mark? Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, nothing's really changed except for... How, how's that happening? Because we're just awesome. There's two of us and there's one of Ferrari. Yeah. Uh, anyway. That is great. Right. Jonathan's back. I forgot about that. <laughs> Well, me and Dean thought we'd give you guys a chance. That's why we thought we'd drop back a bit this week. Oh, okay. And, yeah, take the field by storm next week. Uh, not next week, the week after. <laughs> well, William's starting to really away now. Yeah. 32 points ahead. Big winners for Toro Rosso, though. Obviously, with Amari's win, top scorers this week. Mm, jumping for Cindy Unis. That's right, yeah. Just behind McLaren now. To be honest, it's, it's a five-way battle still, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Still right. six, actually, with Force India. You never know what's happening there with Indrek, and obviously Cole's quick as well, so they can now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well done. <laughs> it's top six, really. Mm. My prediction is seventh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. <laughs> yeah, mate. Right, so, because we are at a mid-season break, although we're not halfway through the season yet, but tech basically are. Uh, we're going to have a driver review of each driver, just to sum up their season so far. Uh, so we're going to work from the top of the table down to the bottom. Yes. So first of all we have Dean. So we're going to give, are we going to give him ratings out of 10? Or yeah, A stars and A's or whatever. <laughs> Well, get marks out of 10 each, then maybe add it all up, and then just see who's one at the end. Yeah, can do. Yeah, something like that. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> Dean. <laughs> Might mean more work for you at the end. <laughs> That's right, I'll, I'll work it out. Dean, go. Let's go first. Um, oh, I think he's done a splendid job. He's uh, brought the team up on his own back. He's been carrying the number two driver as I predicted in the season. Um, probably got forced really bad posture now because of his shoulders. Um, but yeah, you know, <laughs> I'd give him um, nine out of ten, but I don't. Yep. And anyone else? <laughs> uh, just shown great improvement, haven't they, since the end of the last game and just kept getting better and more consistent. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I don't know out of 10, I don't know how I can do that. <laughs> you, just, you just say what you think out of 10. No. Eight. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, Eight. Eight. Done really well. I think that. he's going to be he's going to be in the top three at the end. Okay, we'll drop the numbers thing. We'll just talk about the guys. <laughs> we'll give him an A star. Uh, I, I, I think... <laughs> He has a speed to get more pull positions since he's only got one and it's definitely fast. So um, he, he could have dominated more, I think, if he could have gotten more poles. And uh, yeah, see, let's see if uh, if that changes and if he can get more points after that. Then. Yeah, I, I think he's done a lot better than I expected him to. Uh, he obviously was showing a lot of speed at the end of last season. And he's definitely carried it through this season to probably be the pace setter in quite a few of the races this year. Um, so I, I would give him a 10. <laughs> 10? Nobody's a 10. Nobody's a freaking 10. You know, we're dropping this numbers thing. Yeah, I was, I, I was joking. <laughs> 10? He seems the fastest, but yeah. Yeah. You also have to be consistent every race, so let's see. Aww. He'd be a 10 if he was like 100 points clear. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's possible at this point, is it? Bias Ferrari driver. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, let's move on to Gareth. Which one? Mesham. I'm sure it's Mesham. Uh huh. Okay. Right. So he's what, joint top at the moment? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. 10. 10. Brilliant. No, um, yeah, um, he's he's the um, guy to catch, though, isn't he, from the last two seasons? So if he has to be up at the top, and he is at the top, the joint joint leader. So yeah, I, I don't think he's performed as well as he wanted to, or expected to, maybe. So I think, yeah, 
one to always watch will be there in the top three. I actually think he's really enjoying this, having a bit of a fun. Yeah, because uh, he's he's had it so easy. well, not easy, but you know he's dominated for the last couple of seasons. Really, <clears throat> not had much of a rival other than Andrew Wood. Got rest his soul. And um, Andy last season. And, uh, yeah, there's Andy last season, but obviously the second half of the season when Andy wasn't there it was yeah. a bit of a bit easy, wasn't it? But um, yeah, I think he's really enjoying this. And if he had got the points, he probably would have got in the first race of the season. He would be leading the championship. Apart from his disconnect, but it's the way racing goes, I suppose. But alternatively, yeah. you could say that about Gareth Williams and Dean had the same thing in Malaysia, so I suppose it's even its way out. Yeah, yeah. and Amari missed the first race. So. Okay, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> an argument. <laughs> but yeah, he's gonna not gonna go down without a fight. Let's just say that. Yeah, um, yeah, I think he's had a good season so far. Not been his best start, but obviously it is a lot. Well, it does seem to be a lot closer this year. Um, yeah. So he actually had to work harder for his points. So I think because of that, I think he'll probably be pretty happy with how he's done. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, Gareth Williams. Cole, go. Uh, well, he's definitely improved since the start of the season. Uh, I remember that I, I was thinking that I could follow him in the start of the season and now he seems a lot faster than me so <laughs> uh, well he's definitely improved and he, he's in the hunt for the title as well now. Mm. He's gotten some nice pulls since then and uh, mm. also also wins. <laughs> hey. oh, it's not a graphic show. What? It's not about porn, it's about the racing. What? He said poles, not balls. <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> carry on, Sorry. carry on. He said something about his balls. Oh, he balls! Said, he said poles. Poles. Oh. <laughs> I thought he said balls. <laughs> you got some <laughs> balls. You got some big shiny balls. I thought you said. <laughs> Guys, it's you, it's you, two, it's you two that have the big balls because you've got the big yeah, red balls. Yeah, seriously, the last couple of races, he's been so consistent on the podium and scoring massive points. So. Yeah, he can only get get uh, higher, I think. Mm, I think he's been the most consistent this year. Yeah, I don't know. I think Amari has to be honest. Yeah, I think Amari as well. All those three got second places and now the win. I think he's the one to watch. Anyway, that's not his turn. He's next, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, Amari. Yeah, Gareth, I think he thought he would have done well, a lot better last year had he started from the start of the season. So. But, you know, he's up there, so, yeah, top three finisher. Gareth, yeah, without well, Gareth's one of the guys that's coming, he's a coming man. I don't know if I can say that, can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> he is, and uh, if it wasn't for Murray, he'd be um, the guy of the season so far, but, um, so yeah. Pete, uh, no more of them film their races, to be honest, I think. Yeah, it is a shame, it is a shame, though. But he is, every race, like I said in the, Oh yeah, every race Gareth's getting quicker, Gareth Williams is getting quicker, so if you can carry that on, he may be the man to beat in the second half of the season. Yeah. He, he, yeah. He's also, um, like Dean, they kind of make odd mistakes, like just load a default setup before the race or forget to do something. So, yeah, I, I'm, I really want to know what happened to Dean in Austria. <laughs> <It's> me. <laughs> I was holding him up for 30 laps. <laughs> If you look at uh, Williams' uh, last four races, at uh, Gareth Williams, uh, he's been the most point scorer in the last four races okay. of anyone. Yeah. So, All of his yeah. podiums in the last four races. But that says enough, I think. That's what I mean, he's definitely improved race by race. Hmm. Alright, Amari. Let's go. Who's Amari? <laughs> yeah. I it's think, again, Amari one, to, one to watch for the rest of the season, I think. Uh, again, like I've said for the last four, four of them, like they're in the top three. <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned, again, it's top four are fighting for the top three places, obviously, and it's going to be so close. This this guy is the one I think is going to be champion. I really think that because he's like laid back. He doesn't care about all the, you know. Oh, I hope I win this race. Or he just practices to set up pretty quickly. And then he, he can race, as you saw in Austria. 
you can pass five five guys to get the win. So his race crafts up there. So I think he could be the one that's going to win the championship, personally. Yeah, that's what he keeps saying anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean he's got two races till he does win the championship. So yeah, yeah, yeah I think um, one probably well definitely the fastest newcomer we have this season. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Carl. <laughs> um, no, it's it's yeah. <laughs> it's obvious. Yeah, um, um, I can't think what else to say. Really, than it's a great guy and uh, what a guy! What a, what guy. a guy! And he uh, should really put some more effort into these podcasts. Yeah, he's, and stop filming your races. <laughs> he's, he's the guy that is, has been the most in the top two as well. I was bringing all these stats out. I like. Yeah. I'm like. I'm like. I like this. Yeah, I'm studying mathematics. So. Yeah. Well, I expect some graphs from you. Yeah, we'll have some at the end of the season, please. <laughs> Pie charts. Um, right, Next. Ben. Oh, God. Obviously, good-looking, suave. <laughs> the ladies drinks a lot of beer. Um, I've had a up and down season. It started pretty poorly. I had good pace in the open races, but I just couldn't do anything with it. Um, still struggle in the wet conditions, but other than that, I'm pretty happy the way it's going. Mm. Next. <laughs> yeah, I think you've uh, outperformed how you thought you would, how I thought you would. Mm. But um, you're always pretty close to the top, and I think you're pretty close now. I think you just had a breakthrough. It's almost like you need a Something like a little tweak here or there. And yeah, I always feel like I'm knocking on the door of the top four, but always get told to go away. <laughs> it's a bit like life, really. No. Don't cry for me. Yeah, no, I, I you know. Uh, uh, I was going to say the only way is up, but obviously, for crash. Don't tell him about my personal problems. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I think Ben, you're having similar season to last season. Uh, in terms of you showing good pace, but luck's not always been on your side. I did get a podium this season, which I failed to do all of last season. I just didn't stick at that, to be honest. Oh, that, that's a marvellous spot, Thank you, mate. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> that's enough, I've done. Well, Theoretically, you're the best. Well, statistically, you're the best at the rest. The points kind of say that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> statistically, or anything, it just says, yeah, no. It's, like I say, that midfield though, it's um, any one of them can come forward. Like you see, Neil won a race, and now he's straight up there, Cole's knocking on my back door, so to speak. Mm. Yeah. See how it goes. Second half. Hopefully, I can improve. All right, Carl. How have you found your season? Um, well, yeah, with, with ups and downs. <coughs> on the on the, the tracks that I like less, I also did with ups and downs, but yeah, China was a low point for me. Uh, it's a track that I dislike, and yeah, I, I couldn't get my car controlled. It's like some races I just can't get my car straight uh, in the corners. Well, yeah, in the corners it should be straight, but I mean, <laughs> not spinning off. <laughs> mm. And... Uh, yeah, other than that, I, I've uh, finished mostly in the top five, which I'm happy with. So uh, I don't know what to say else about it. <laughs> mm, I think you've had a good season, a good opening season, and uh, yeah, you fit right in with the uh, pace and everyone else. So I think. yeah, yeah, I, I could keep it a little bit more clean, and uh, I will work on that. So <laughs> that's the only thing I was gonna say. Sometimes it's a bit hairy, but. I kind of like that in some people, you know, in some drivers, it's, it's good. I think someone's a bit, like, you know, lively. Mm. But I think, yeah, no, I think you're doing pretty well, mate. I like say good addition to the league and you're improving, a, you're improving race by race, I think. I think you're a bit of a dark horse in terms of you never know what to expect. There's only one dark horse and that's Black Beauty. <laughs> is, is, is that a good thing or...? Yeah, no, it is, it is. It's like a man of mystery. Like, yeah, you don't know what to expect. One week you, you can be like challenging for podiums, another week you can be a bit over back. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it depends on, on how the race goes, obviously, and how I like the track, uh, if I find the right setup or whatever. Mm. Uh, Rob? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I've got to talk about myself. How, yeah, how have you found your okay. season? Uh, how I found it? Uh, yeah, it's alright. Not too much. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've, I, my, I get most out of these games when I play them every day. Uh, I love 2012. <laughs> yeah, um, I it's did. It's slowly gone downhill from there as far as hours behind yeah. the screen. That same with me. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. <clears throat> you know, our, our I love racing. Related. Say again? I said our form is definitely child related. <laughs> That's just an uh, excuse. Yeah. <laughs> I could just stay up all night practicing and like miss out on sleep, but I'm not prepared to go to those lengths. <laughs> no, no commitment at all. No, I just, I just, yeah. If I can get a decent bit of time, I can be competitive. Otherwise, not. I think that's generally how my season's going to go. Personally, I think you've done a good job. I think you've had. You've had good pace, and if some idiot had let you pass the Monaco, I think you could have challenged for a podium there. Uh, yeah, I could have maybe. I probably should have crashed sooner. <laughs> yeah, but I think you've been pretty much up there. Just like I say, the first few races mean you didn't have a lot of luck. But um, Austria was the, the scary one. It was like, Christ, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> that was worrying. I was like, where is he gone? But like I say, second half of the season, we've got good races coming up for us. So I hope we could be fun. Mm. Anyway, next. Interesting is with Rob is uh, that his worst result is uh, better than anyone else's re worst result uh, from the top six. Wow, another stat. More. <laughs> oh, more he's, he's on form. He's on form. Could we we need to have this guy on more. <laughs> uh, it is interesting. It is a bit annoying because I take pride in my stats, but I'm not this quick. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a no, it's fine. It's fine. Not only is he faster than you, he's better at stats than you. I know. <laughs> oh, I'm doing a job. Do you want to make the podcast? <laughs> Are you even video editing? What? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I have so many videos, I can do it. <laughs> and he's not said interesting at, at once at all. I think I should just leave. <laughs> oh, no, no. Just joking. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, Neil. I can't wait, I'm standing up. <laughs> You're such a pet. <laughs> Neil, Neil, Neil. Neil. Definitely Neil. seems like he had his ups and downs. Yeah, at the start, after the first two races, we were uh, questioning whether he'll be up there the whole season. And he had a bit of a dip in form. And then out of, out of blue, he smashes out Canada. Kind of wet, yeah. Where's, where's the wet guy, the isn't he? Definitely. <laughs> yeah, actually, the three <laughs> wet races. Look yeah. at his uh, points. Yeah, yeah, but give yeah, us some stats about Neil in the wet, please. Come. Yeah, I, I think he has most points in the wet. Definitely. <laughs> so he can be he is the, the wettest out of all of us. He's the wet king. <laughs> <laughs> the wet king. He's watching. Yeah, um, is that a director from Game of Thrones or the wet? King? <laughs> He's the, the wet king. King of the wet. Yeah, no, but but his dry form has been quite good as well. We can't just say he's a wet king. He's, he's, he's a character for a reason. It's not just because of the wet races. Wow. Possibly he is. Well, he's, on, he's only got. <laughs> I've got the stats. I'm sure. Carl's he's only got eight points in. Yeah, I don't think he's done very well in the dry. He's right. lost connection twice as well. I think, isn't he? Yeah. Um. But yeah. Good addition to the league, though. Yeah. I was wondering how these new guys would do, and obviously they're all. All of them settled in really well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Rather. Who's next? Um, Steve. Steve. Controversial with this one. Very good at the start. And then lack of commitment. <laughs> and I think he's starting to come back a bit on terms of his, foot, his pace. Yeah. But he had a few weeks without commitment, really. Let's just say Austria was um, a bit more convincing from him. Like I say, free stop wasn't really the way to go, but... Um, it yeah, worked yeah. for him, though. I don't think he would have got any higher up, if, even on a two-stop. 
Well, I don't know, because me and, um, me and Dean obviously had a spin, and he, he would have been quite close to us without hitting an extra time. Mm. So he possibly could have challenged us at the end, I don't know. But I think everyone else two stopped, so... Um, but anyway, yeah, he's well, definitely we, improved. We do love you, Steve, we're not just slagging you off. Get a bit more time, a bit more commitment, he'll be there. He seemed fast in Austria as well in the practice. Yeah, he was. Yeah. I didn't expect to, to be as fast as him. He, he had a really good start there, didn't he? He was like leading after the second race, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I can see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, actually, he was uh, joined by the Leo. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, they've fallen down together. He's going to have to pick up the pace a bit, isn't he, if his Mercedes are going to win. <laughs> it's just a kiss of death for any driver. As you can see, I tipped Andy to win the championship and he's gone on sick leave. <laughs> mm. <laughs> right. Um, Come on, Steve. Get it so, we'll, do, we'll go on to me. We'll skip Chris. Right. This, yeah. won't take long. this won't take long. I, I personally am a bit disappointed with my season. Well, Although yeah, I've only done three races, I've, I've, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. I think I could have probably got the win in Australia had um, Chris not lagged, then to, uh, Dean not, Chris not lagged, then Dean hit him, and then I hit Dean. You had a good start to the season. I mean, you had a podium in Australia. Yeah, I was second. I think I could have won that though. That's... Whatever, but yeah, you could have. <laughs> <laughs> you did, yeah, you start, and you're up there, and then obviously you had your, your issues. Yeah. PS3, and I think the pace has moved up on quite a lot now, so you just got to find it again. You gotta need to build it back up and get back on the pace of us, like or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. Everyone's had more time in the game now, and you know roughly how to set the cars up. So. Yeah. I mean, Bahrain, I was pretty happy with with seventh. I didn't really expect much more than that. Yeah. Uh, Austria was. Although I didn't expect to get many points, Carl being in fourth just destroyed me pretty much. Aww. <laughs> when, yeah. when are we doing back with the pads? Are we not talking about that? No, we're not doing that, no. I okay. think I think it's quite clear. <laughs> no, it, it, it will change once we get s some time in. I'm going to bet that I'm going to beat him this week, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take that bet. <laughs> Why do this to yourself? <laughs> I've got to take my little victories here and there, haven't I? Sure thing. I start the pit lane in qualifying, will it? Does that count for anything? You what? I said you'd probably be first out of the pit lane in qualifying. Does that count? Or? No, I'm never first out of no, the pit lane in qualifying. I'm first, because I'm for Cindy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I always wait in qualifying. But, uh, yeah, let's skip me. <laughs> Andy. Oh. Mm, he's left. So it's kind of hard to talk about him, mm. but before that his form was pretty awful, wasn't it? The biggest disappointment, I would say. So Not in like that. a horrible way, but... Wasn't he quick in qualifying most of the time? Yeah. yeah, he qualified in like second or third or something in Australia. Yeah. Some I, say, I, I expect say, him up there. Some say he's the fastest guy in the league, but... Yeah, don't know what happened there. Mm. No luck on his side. He did have connection issues though. You also wow. lose some pace if you have connection issues, I believe so. Hmm. <coughs> Barring is pretty awful for him. Yeah. For the lag. Is Rob gone? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Indrek, new addition from Monaco. Hasn't scored since Monaco. Well, we Although he missed it. Canada, didn't he? He's only done two races. What do you reckon on Indrek, mate? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, good. <laughs> do you just sleep <laughs> while we talk? <laughs> Have you got that soothing voices that you just sleep? <laughs> hey. uh, our voice is that soothing that you just fall asleep while you listen to us. It's very soothing. <laughs> and I'm old. Uh, Indrek, yeah, it's good. I don't know. He's the, probably the most inconsistent the quickest, most inconsistent person I know. Yeah. So he could be so there at the front, walking away with it, or just not even finishing. And it's impossible to tell which race he'll do that at. 
Yeah. Well, other than the top four, he's, he's the only one got the ball this year. So. <clears throat> well, yeah, if you look at Monaco, though, I mean, he blitzed the field, and then the race, he was just like basically a mobile chicane, wasn't he? Like, no offense, Indra. <laughs> but, I, I, I don't. I, he, str he always struggles with his first in, apparently, and I don't get why he didn't bid earlier then. He could have. He, he held up everyone, which was, yeah, he could do that. And then if he bid it fast, then I think he might have, yeah, got the podium. Yeah, he seems to have too much yeah, brake bars because he was losing back end into the tight corners. But... And final two are Graham and Peter. Go, Rob. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. Just uh, keep at it and uh, I'll get there. <laughs> yeah, just need steady improvement. And I think they spent to the teammates a bit more than they they happily help them and we'd help them as well just get them on the pace mm, I think they've improved compared to last season in terms of pace definitely uh, qualifying pace but yeah. because this, this season is so much closer I think that yeah. I think um, Graham's probably the fastest of the two at the moment I'm pretty sure that Gareth really wants to help Peter but Peter's just got to get in contact with him a bit more and practice a bit more that's all, the, all you can see mm. Keep at it, guys. You're doing well. It's going to be the turn of the week as well. We, we do notice it. Mm. Right. So, after a very long podcast, it's probably gone a lot longer than it should have. I'm tired. Um, let's say goodbye. Um, we're going to see Santa's little elves now. I'm going to go see Santa's little helper. She's lovely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so a big thank you for Carl for whipping out the stats. That was great. Thank you for having me. Um, and again, thanks to Rob and Ben. Okay, right. Ben. And we'll see you at Silverstone. Happy New Year, guys. To Pip. Yeah, see you next year. Happy New Year.